Hello, my name is Keith Liddell. Some of you guys may know me as Keith the Problem Solver Liddell. And here we are to suggest and also explain the uh, copyrighted information that was just recently put on the uh, Cal State University website, and I was very appreciative of that. But my name was this. Some people didn't know who I am. Uh, some people know me for athletics, the fast fighter in history, and also the mathematician. But anyway, it's entitled Before the Big Bang, the Pre-Existing Element, and its Correlation to Pi by Keith Liddell. What caused the Big Bang? Better yet, what came before? Enigmatism may be, provide the answer. E-N-I-G-M-A, an acronym or energized neutral inertial gravitational mass acceleration is a form of futuristic time travel, if you will, of subatomic space particles that were created by protectual patterns before space existed. You've probably heard this before in numerous other uh, uh, papers. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, you heard it correctly. Before space even began, this can be shown mathematically as delta zero to the exponent power of two and underlying delta. In respect to or relation to, parenthesis 10 over 12 with the um, superscript n and uh, subscript of d, <clears throat> which is, or base n subscript d, uh, which is respective or representative of a new variation form. So basically you have nothing there, not even space particles at the beginning of creation. We represent this as change in time, point of origin zero. Then it has an exponential growth expansion of two vector points or indicators. This leads me to, the, to my second point, that zero or nothing has no value. But this is a false interpretation of placeholder value systems, as we will explore later. According to the theory of horizontal slash vertical shift equi uh, equilibrium, zero possibilities are infinite and equivalent to itself, which is the inferred supply force. In other words, zero has its value, and to actually create nothing would theoretically require so much energy that a wormhole or vacuous black hole okay, would be created. Since there it was nothing before time, there would be nothing done, there would be done, this would be done in reverse, rather. Forming a transparent hybridized white hole, this idea changes the theory of hues, particularly of which came first. It would suggest that the transparent, non-opaque, white-like hues came first. And this spawned the birth of brown matter, which came, which gave rise to the collected absorption process of solar energy and dark matter. Mathematically, this is uh, where negative integers or exponents come from, such as in the case of uh, parentheses 10 over 12 with the negative 2 exponent or parentheses 10 over 12 in D. The reciprocal or reverse will have to be done since negative 2 is imaginary. However, though in D or necessity of demand does not have to be reciprocated like parentheses 10 to the power over 12 um, equals 12 to the power 1 superscript 1, it can undergo, for this is 10 over 12 to the exponent, to negative exponent of 2, which equals 10 to the power of negative 2 over 12 to, negative, to the power of negative 2, which equals 0 0.01 over 0 0.0069444, or it equals 0 0.114. 1440922 times 10, which equals 1.440922. As you can see, we did not use a reciprocal due to negative number. Okay? We simply had to find the 100% total value of the whole number that would satisfy the base equivalence of the numerative and denominative values, which is the, the decimal value of parentheses 0.01 or ND, which equals parentheses 1.00 N plus parentheses 0. Dot zero one d. The one value, one n value, was satisfied by multiplying one to the numerative and denominator. This caused them to interact individually by their exponentive values, ten to negative two, twelve to negative two. They multiply the dividend value by its numerative value of one n times ten, which equals ten to the end product of 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.0069444, equating negative values being equivalent to even values of 0, hence 10 to the negative 2, which equals 0 0.01. This brings us to our next concept of reflection. 
optics and reflectors, how does nothing reflect off itself? Well, it turns out that empty space is polarized negative space, meaning that the non-existing area holds a negative charge.